revolutionizing, spreading strongly and steadily, giving rise to thousands of innovations. Innovations that leave a lasting trace in the world. Innovations created by an exceptional team. We improve quality of life. Spark enthusiasm. And help conserve natural resources. Invented for life gives our work meaning. We are Bosch. Wow, this was impressive, Tobias. I'm super proud having my customer Bosch here on stage. My name is Christopher, I'm the key account director at Bosch. And um, yeah, it's the first time we've met here in this um, uh, yeah, round. I'm talking about some really cool use cases, which we created in the last couple of um, uh, quarters and months. And um, yeah, Tobias, please introduce yourself. Sure. Um, hello, everyone. My name is uh, Tobias Neffle. I'm strategic partner manager at Bosch, uh, managing the partnership with Google Cloud and uh, the whole Google team, you know, crossing also Alphabet, Android, and so on. Um, and, you know, on my, my daily job is basically to manage the overall program and, in particular, having regular meetings with the Google folks and bringing them together with our right business units so that they can create what I call win-win-win situations. So win an additional value add for our internal and external customers, but also win for Google as well as win for Bosch. What it means you will see later in more detail. Um, maybe a few words to myself. I'm like 15 years within Bosch, worked at six different divisions. You will see later it's quite a big company if you don't know Bosch that well. Um, and yeah, I was always in my work so far focus on business development. I worked in four different countries as well. I worked for a while in the US, in Singapore as well as in China, and always focus on working business development with partners. So for me, it was kind of natural to move into strategic partner management as well. And it's really a pleasure to work with the Google folks. But enough about myself. I think we can pass on to Bastian. Hi, everyone, and happy to be on stage. So my name is Bastian. Um, I'm since 10 years in the company. Um, I'm now located in uh, the headquarter and uh, I'm product owner since 10 years. So I'm building up digital products and solutions and um, yeah, doing my best to uh, build up nice solutions uh, for all the several um, divisions. So we have quite a lot. So we will give you also an overview. Um, my education uh, background is marketing, marketing, marketing. Yeah. Maybe, Tobias, you can share some insights about Bosch, because I'm pretty sure that not everybody is completely aware of what Bosch is doing. And um, it would be nice giving some yeah, marks and um, some, some numbers, some figures about Bosch in general. Sure, yeah. So you see a very important slide here, Invented for Life. You saw it also in the video earlier. Basically, we want to create solutions that you know, really improve quality of life, spark enthusiasm, but at the same time also conserve natural resources. For us, like sustainability is really important. So our slogan in short is we want to create technology that is invented for life. And in which areas are we doing this? I think some of you might know us, or most people I talk to know us from the second business sector that you see here, consumer goods. So you know, when I talk to people, typically they say, oh, I have a Bosch washing machine, or I have like a power tools or something like this. That's around about 22% of our business. The largest sector actually is the one on the, that you see here on the right side. We, uh, on the left side, this is the mobility sector. That's actually 61% of our business. We are in almost every car. So last year, this was about 58 billion revenue by a mind-boggling 230,000 people team. So it's quite, 
quite a big sector for us, mobility, obviously. And then we have uh, energy and building technology sector as well as industrial technology. So if you think about energy and building technology, go to some airports, look at the roofs. You might find uh, like fire detectors, cameras and stuff from us. Um, and both of these business sectors are around about 8% of our business. So in total for like last year, this made about a bit more than 91 billion euros in revenue with uh, 4.6 billion EBIT by a really huge team. So four, more than 427,000 employees in uh, 470 subsidiaries in more than 60 countries. So we are really a global company. Now you might think like, why are, why are they telling me all this? You, you know, we thought including these slides makes a lot of sense so that you understand the vast spectrum of the company. Because if we later talk about how we utilize generative AI, for example, in marketing, we have to cover all of this, like all of these business sectors. It must make sense for all of our internal customers. And uh, I think that's why it make, it's kind of good to give a short overview of the company. Thank you very much, Tobias. Now, Bastian, um, what are the use cases you started with Gen AI when it comes to marketing? And why was it a centralized approach, at least? I, so actually, I want to introduce a little bit um, our complexity. Uh, I want to show off a little bit. <laughs> so actually, we are tracking over three, three and a half thousand websites worldwide. Um, we have a lot, a lot of mobile applications. Um, we have hundreds and hundreds of Instagram channels, Facebook channels, uh, advertising channels. It's just impressive. Um, and the problem is, or some years before, the problem was uh, who is overwatching all this complexity, all this data. And then we started the partnership also with Google to streamline everything so that we directly can say, how is the business in France running or in Europe or Latin America running? And this is what you can see here in this aggregation part that uh, we are starting to aggregate all of this data, make um, yeah, some intelligence on top that we know um, what's about. And now uh, Gen AI is it's just uh, coming to existence. Um, so it's very impressive, uh, the dynamic, uh, dynamic here. And uh, why is, uh, we are running this, let's say, centrally. So we have, let's say, um, hundreds of different uh, divisions and legal entities, and we are streamlining a little bit uh, the demand or basically the problems. Um, so it's not about building up uh, the mass rockets. These are, let's say, very basic use cases. It's about translations. It's about content creation uh, for text and also for, for pictures. Um, and it's not about, let's like, say, the big, 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 big ones. Um, so this is the reason we are started with the very basic ones in Gen AI. And um, yeah, I just bring a, bring along um, a video here. Um, um, so uh, our title is uh, what we uh, succeeded in basically um, one month, and uh, this is really uh, a true story. Um, so we build up. Um, Gen AI playground, we call it like that, to empower over 430,000 associates to build up their own texts, their own pictures, their own translations. Um, and this is um, um, a little video I want to introduce you. It's focusing on the text to image, uh, what we jointly um, um, made with uh, Christopher's team. So maybe you can start the video, please. Perfect. <clears throat> so um, it's about building up uh, our marketing campaigns by yourself. So we have, let's say, uh, what I mentioned, three and a half, three and a half thousand websites. Um, we have a lot of stock photos, photo shootings. Um, so it's very cost intensive. And now we have. Um, new stuff uh, with this uh, Imagine 2 uh, models um, where we can just say, or the marketing expert or communication expert, so what I want to create for a picture. Um, then I directly can uh, choose a picture, put this into um, a campaign. I can try to add something 
uh, I can regionalize a little bit. Um, I have a lead campaign, for example, but I want to adapt it to Scandinavia. Um, so it's about your creativity or the creativity of the expert. Um, and what is the status quo? The status quo is we have to ask agencies and tons of agencies worldwide to photo shoot. Um, then the campaigns are coming out after six, 12 weeks, uh, some iterations. And now we have, like, say, nice capabilities where we can change lead campaigns, the faces. Uh, we can adapt everything, and this is pretty nice. And we are not uh, purely using the model of Imagine 2. So on top, there's also coming the log our logic, um, so our brand colors, our tonality, the composition, um, and so on and so on. Um, so it's about the pictures which are coming out, they are, let's say, enterprise ready. These are our colors, our, compos our composition. We don't like this uh, Instagram faces, uh, everything is perfect. We, we're not that company. We want to have like nationality, um, uh, um, 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 just normal people, right? Um, one video back, uh, so. Um, Please go back. So there's a second video. Yeah, perfect. Please start it. And this is the same with... Um, nope. <sighs> yep. Yeah, and this is the same also with text. So we want to empower everyone to just um, to just do it. So it's also our translation. So when I'm talking to different head of marketing and they're saying, hey, Bastian, this is ridiculous. So 50% of my budget, I have to translate my campaigns. And um, this is the reason we have started also with this basic one. So we can upload free text. We can include PDFs. Um, we directly uh, have, uh, um, after seconds, uh, the translated uh, PDF. Uh, a PDF here in a perfect quality, and this is pretty nice. Um, it's not all about being perfect, it's so Gen AI is not perfect, but it must be better than the status quo. The German companies have, let's say, um, they are intended to do it, let's say, everything must be perfect, no hallucinations, so... But actually, I'm always saying, what is the status quo? Your status quo is you have a lot of marketing agencies. You have a lot of money what you're spending externally. And here's a solution which are 80% cool. Just use it. And this is right now the status. So um, we, want to, um, we want to ship uh, this uh, Gen AI playground for over 430,000 uh, Bosch associates to yeah, being more empowered to do their jobs. Not writing. Um, agency um, um, uh, letters, uh, briefings, and so on, they can express themselves as experts what they want to have in regards to text, in regards to pictures, and whatever. And um, the second picture is, uh, let's say, um, our Gen AI Playground, which are coming to existence in the next iteration uh, by end of this month. Um, so it's about use case driven overview of our Gen AI projects. Um, it's not about tech, so Gen AI is complicated enough, so we just want to ship, uh, please start the video, um, we just want to just give them an overview about their problem. So you want to translate? Click it. You want to have, let's say, more information about content creation? Click it. You have like a zero optimization with Gen AI? Click it. Um, and uh, so this is our path, what we want to do. Not talking about tech, it's about business use cases and uh, that the people directly can see uh, what they can just do right away. Um, and this is it. Quite impressive um, dynamic in uh, the field of Gen AI. Um, yeah, but uh, the business impact is just impressive in regards to cost reductions. Um, and then later on, hopefully also in revenue increase. And when you have like a perfect um, SEA campaign, for example, um, the numbers are very impressive and we are looking forward to continue the path. Thank you, Bastian. I think when we started the journey approximately 
a year ago, and um, we talked to tons of different business units within Bosnia. What do you would like to see? What do you need from a centralized approach? What do you would like to have from, uh, from the Google part? And um, then we created this virtual team together with our professional service organizations, supporting them, creating the first um, pilots, and then bringing it to life. I think it was an amazing journey till today. But nevertheless, do you have any wishes on your wish list for the next step in the journey? Um, so actually, yes. So um, it's just about do something. Um, so before there was a session of the CEO of Victoria's Secret, and like uh, I want to quote him also, um, don't strive for perfection, just do it. Um, also, a 60% solution is pretty nice. So it's just about let's do things. It just must be better than the status quo in your company. And uh, it's just to be... Um, empower the people who are the experts um, and uh, just tr try try the best out of the situation. Um, yeah, just empowerment, uh, democratic, uh, democratizing uh, data. So it's all about data and uh, not about kingdoms. And uh, so this is my data and my data. Um, so this is, let's say, key, but this is more the homework, uh, let's say, internally. And it's about partnership. So it's on eye level. Just do it, and um, yeah, uh, that everyone has like a win situation here. And and maybe to add to this, from a from a partnership perspective, what what I really value, you know, when we have meetings with the Google folks and when we try this kind of projects, it's it's really on eye level. There's a lot of trust, and you know, we focus always on this joint business ar outcomes. What we showed you now was like a use case for internal customers, but obviously we have also use cases for external customers that we create together. And it, it's really great to see that you know, both companies, both are engineering companies by heart, focus on creating additional value for being in, internal or external customers. And you know, also having a win-win. Obviously, for Google Cloud, it would be cloud consumption. For Bosch, it would be other part of the business model. But this is really key. So then it's really fun for everyone, including the customer, who gets more value than he would get from any one of the companies. So that's, that's really great. Thank you very much. I will give it back to you. Thanks for the partnership and the trust, for sure.